The brain is a, a fascinating machine, really. In terms sure. of brain plasticity, everything that we do each and every day shapes our brain. We call it neuroplastic, just as plastic is changeable and malleable. We can change the shape of the brain. And I actually did a study recently on this. So we put people in the scanner and we looked at their brain structure and associated this brain structure with the amount of pornography they consume. So basically we found in our study that the gray matter in the reward center is generally smaller in those people who watch more porn. We've seen that with multiple addictions from methamphetamine to cocaine, others, and now with pornography addiction. It's almost as if the brain is saying, I like pleasure, but you're killing me, this is too much. My hypothesis was that the ventral striatum and the reward regions should be bigger in those people watching pornography. And it's exactly the other way around, so... Um... Were you shocked? Yes, yes. <laughs> there is solid research to show that brain functioning changes. The more you watch uh, pornography, that you, you can get a, a blip up when the pornography is totally new but totally new soon becomes old as you, as you watch that. People need to watch more or get more interesting and novel stuff to get the same level of activity in the reward system. You know, so it's a paradox. When it starts out, the porn is turning you on, and the more porn you watch, the less likely you are to get aroused. Which seems to indicate that the, the normal, regular thing you were used to isn't sufficient anymore. The wonderful thing about the human mind is the power of curiosity to invent, to create, but what pornography does is it puts a straitjacket on our mind to say, no, this is the only thing I'm interested in, and then ultimately that any kind of compulsion is destructive.